guys. Um, don't mind my voice because I just woke up and I have a stuffy nose, so that's great. When I was on vacation, my boxy charm was delivered, so I didn't get to um, try. And there's a few things that I wanted to try, specifically the Hydro Mist by Becca. And apparently, this is like a powder that is like 50% water, so. I'm really excited for that. We're going to try a few other things that were in the BoxyCharm for August. I'm going to try the Big Ego Tart, because so I've never tried that. And we're going to use these cute little um, things. I swatched them on the back of my hand. They're really pretty. Side note, I do have this on my lips, which also I think came in my BoxyCharm. Really nice. It adds like a really nice color to your lips. And like this is what it looks like. Like, the longer you have it on, the more color it has. I don't know. I think it's really cute, and it really moisturizes your lips, so. I'm going to come back with my primer, my foundation on, and then we are going to open up this Becca and give it a shot, and then we'll see how contour and, like, highlight and stuff goes on over top of it. So I'll be back with my foundation on. So now my face is on and I have my foundation on. I definitely look dead, so I need my contour, but it's time to try this. Pretty sure there's only one shade and it's like the translucent. Set and refresh powder. I already smudged the top. Let's see how smudgy it is. But it's pretty packaging. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna put some on my finger. Oh, that's super weird. It like feels wet, but not. It has like this little has this thing. It says it, it says keep me close to keep me cool. And then you lift it up, and there is like a net. That you bounce into. I'm just gonna dab in there and see. I'm gonna set my face. Oh my god, it feels so strange. I don't know what's happening. It like feels super cool, like cooling on your face. And then like once you like blend it in, it feels like wet. I mean, it is like a hydro mist. I don't know what do I expect? It feels really nice on my face. It does feel really nice. It didn't make me feel like dry, like some powders can do for me. I feel like it left a little bit of a white cast on my forehead, but I did use a lot. It's so weird. It feels like I'm sweating onto the brush. It's so strange. It's like a legit powder. But it's like wet. Weirded out. So I'm going to finish up my contour and my highlight and all of that good stuff, get my face all done. And then we're going to go on to eyes and we're going to try these guys. My face is on. It's time to play with the Ace Butte. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. But these are what they are. This one is Ice Latte. It's a glimmer shadow. And this one is also a glimmer shadow. And it's cotton candy. And I'm really excited to play with that one. It's kind of iridescent. It's kind of iridescent if you can see. It's like some yellow, like gold flakes in there. I'm just going to play around and figure out what it is that I'm doing. So 
now I did whatever the fuck it is that's in my crease. I don't know what I did or why I did that, but I did it. So now I'm just gonna try to move on with cotton candy here. And I already started a little bit because I forgot to, uh, so I was really upset with myself. I'm like, why did you do that? I think I'm gonna cut crease it. All right, so I got the um, concealer down for the cut crease and now I'm going to apply that beautiful shade. I'm gonna go in with my finger and press it on the lid. Yeah, I'm gonna foil this. So I'm going to spray my brush, have it wet, dip in here so I can get close to that crease. I think this side's done. I'm gonna go over to this side and do that side, and I'll be right back. So I did the other eye, and I just wanna say that I feel like Katy Perry. I feel like this is something Katy Perry would wear. This looks a lot peachier in there than it does on the lid. I guess the name is Cotton Candy, so. Now, we're gonna try to use this gold shade somehow. Pretty, I actually might add it to the end here. What I'm gonna do. Oh, that looks wet. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, it looks so pretty. It's like wet looking. Oh, it looks, still looks like pink from the front or from some angles. And then when you turn, it's like gold and it's really pretty. This would be gorgeous by itself. All right, I'm going to apply my wing and then I will be back to try out that Tarte mascara. I just wanna say, I'm sorry for this because these are some bold wings, bitch. Who is she? I don't even know. I don't know what I did or why, but I did it. So, we're going to try the Big Ego mascara. Woo! Look at the packaging. Oh, that's pretty. That's real pretty. And I'm gonna get up close and personal. You can't really see anything because my wing is so big, but they are there and they're not, I don't know if you can see, they're not real thick, but it's like lengthening them. Black as uh, the real test, because I'm going to put false lashes on. I can't have a wing this big and not have any lashes. The real test will be on the bottom. And we'll see how it wears. Hopefully you can't see the ugly face I'm making. What if you can? Don't laugh. Oh, uh, all right. Nothing's really happening. I feel like it makes them longer, but doesn't give any volume. I don't have outrageous bottom lashes to begin with. Or just lashes in general. Okay, the third coat. Who's done something? You can see them. So this is the finished lashes on the bottom. You know, they're not that bad actually. After doing a few coats, you do have to do a few coats. But once you do that, I mean, they look really nice. I look like a watermelon. 
All right, so I got my lashes on, I have my lips on, and now it's time for me to try it on for the rest of the day and see how the powder holds up, how the eyeshadow holds up, you know, to see if any um, transferring goes on. And it's gonna be a try on day. I'm kind of feeling everything now that everything is all together. You know, my wings are big. It looks like I'm going out to the club, going to get my nails done, going couponing, and I might go out to dinner. I'm not sure. I'm with it. Just to let you know, it's around 1030 right now. So that's when I finish my makeup. So it's around 1030 right now. So I'll check in in a little bit and I will see you then. All right, guys. So I'm just checking in. Um, uh, Eye makeup still looks good, face still looks good, I'm still matte, um, it's 1 o'clock, I uh, just got my nails done, and everything still looks pretty good, so no transferring, but it looks like it might start, oh there's a little bit of transferring on the mascara, other than that everything looks pretty good, and I will keep in touch. I'll be back here soon and let you know how it's going. And it is 3.30. I am on my way to the waterfront in Pittsburgh and everything's looking really good. Um, not really breaking up around here just yet. Um, everything's still intact. Not a lot of transferring. Pretty excited about it. All right, guys, it's now 8.15, and I am ready to take my makeup off and go relax. Final thoughts. Let me see. Two out of three, great. My eyeshadow looks all right, but there's some a lot of creasing going on. Like, a lot, a lot. If you can see it, which I don't know if you can, but there's a lot of creasing going on. There's a little bit of flaking going on but I mean it's been 10 hours no transferring none for the for the um, mascara and now Milo this is Milo say hi Milo I just want to say that that powder really really worked for my skin I usually get really really creasy right here and don't mind my nose please because I went to Ulta bought a bunch of new things and this lady told me to try this Tarte shimmer or something as a highlight she said oh my god it's amazing so I tried it I put it on and it like did something but then I did it on my nose and dude, the tip of my nose was a light bulb I had to dab it and then I had to conceal it, and then it just ended up looking weird, but whatever. My skin stayed really nice. Everything looks really fresh. Um, for having this on for 10 hours, it looks great. So considering everything, my makeup looks really, really good. I think that may be a new favorites for me. I might have to use it as a setting. Even though it's super weird, it feels like it's wet. A wet powder doesn't really make much sense, but that's what it is. I really enjoyed doing this video. So two out of three things were really good, even though the one thing was crazy, even though it wasn't like mm, so great, it still was, I mean, it still looks beautiful on the eye. So the Big Ego Tarte, these two things, eh, for the Big Ego Tarte, yes, and then the Becca, <laughs> the Becca, um, oh my god, Hydra Mist, set and refresh powder, so nice. So, alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, subscribe, hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Um, I'm really trying to do things that you guys would like to see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.